Hey guys! So, um, I just wanted to do a little video to talk about Halloween because it is coming up in 16 days, 17 days, 17 days. Well, it's almost midnight, so 16 days. Um, and I'm not doing much this year, I'm just handing out candy. I wish I had like a really badass party to go to, but I don't, and I swear when I own my own place, or at least rent my own place, I will have badass Halloween parties. Even if I don't have friends, I'll just like post little things on mailboxes and just see what kind of people show up, you know. I would not do that. I would, I would, but I would have Halloween parties, but I would, I would not just post. I would invite my, my cool friends that I've met online, and, and I'm sure I will think of people to invite, but I'm having Halloween parties. And, um, yeah, because I always dress up, like, I always get so excited, and I just hand out candy. And, like, little kids are like, who are you? I don't know who you are. Put a lot of work into this shit, bitch. Just kidding. I'm not that mean to little kids. I'm nice. I promise. Um. <laughs> like when I was Lucy, at least, at least the parents knew who I was. And Betty was Ethel. They just thought she was the dog with a wig on. Yeah. I put wigs on my dog. Dog wigs! But yeah, um, so this year, I did not know what I was gonna be. Um, I, at first I wanted to be Ursula, but then I saw that a lot of people were being Ursula, and that Tora had an Ursula costume. And that's awesome, but I like to be different. Like, I, I've always made my own costumes, always. Or put them together. Like, if I didn't sew the outfit, I put the stuff together differently. Like, I did not buy a set. Like, I put it together myself. And, um... I bought a dress. There's this group on Facebook called Fatu. F A T T O O. All one word. And it's where, um, plus size women can sell their clothing that they, that are gently used. And it's really cute stuff. I bought, like, several cute dresses from there. From other girls who've only worn them once or twice. It's, it, you know, it's like eBay, but it's not. The first person to be interested and give their, um, PayPal email gets it. And I've sold a lot on there, and it's 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 a really good place, and it's really um it's well I'm trying to think moderated. It's well moderated, so there's no like assholes in there usually, and it's a really good group. So I will put the link down there. That makes me feel so cool when I can tell you I will put the link down there. Or is it over? But still, that's like the thing that actual vloggers do that makes me feel really cool I'm not cool um but yeah um I was in the one for costumes because they have separate tattoo groups and I was in the one for costumes and there was a blue polka dot dress and it was vintage which you can see right there but I'll show you better in a minute um and she had used it or said to you that it, it, that it would be good for an I Love Lucy costume Lucy, Lucille Ball. But yeah. What did she do? Did I? There you are. Um, that like with the apron and stuff, how cute it would be. And I was Lucy two years ago, so. But I still wanted to dress. And I just wanted to dress because I would have worn it anyway, like belted. Like I have my red belt and like red shoes look really cute with it because blue, white, and red look really good together. And I'm not like talking like American, like, hell yeah, I'm American. I'm talking like, these just look good. <laughs> like, not like, these colors don't run. I'm talking, they look good together. Like, nautical. There we go. <sighs> okay. I've lost myself. So, any minute you're going to hear my dad, like, loudly talking next to my door. It'll be awkward, and I'll probably get quiet for a minute. But anyway. So, I, I got the dress. Just intending to wear it, because it's like a vintage dress, and I'm like, how often do you find a vintage dress in alley size? Because I'm like size 24, 26. But like, up here I'm like a 24, and down here I'm like a 26, because I have a lot of booty. 
So, yeah, it was vintage, so I was like, cool, I want it. And it was a good price, so I got it. And it got here when Max was here, and Max said, oh, you know what, that would be really cute if you put red pom-poms down the front and made it a clown costume. And I figured out what I was going to be for Halloween. <laughs> So I bought red pom-poms, but I'm not actually going to put them on the dress because I've decided I want to keep the dress kind of not in Halloween-ish so I can wear it again. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, I got, I got the dress. It's belly. Chubby. Not chubby. Yeah, it's like, it's cute. I mean, like, belted, it'll be really cute. Very bright and I don't know, I thought it would be a good clown like dress. It would be a cute clown. I got the dress. And then instead of like I don't wanna do like the the um rainbow wig and like the big red nose and stuff. I wanted to get a red wig so I just went to Epic Cosplay and bought the same wig that I have in purple and fuchsia. And what? So I just I got that, which I'm really excited about because I'll wear this again. I don't know when, but it's so pretty. It's like bright red. Oh, I just love it. And then, so I'm wearing that. And then I will probably, I'm not going to do like the white. I'm pale enough. I'm pasty. I don't need the, I'm just going to do like cute, like red or pink lips and like, just a little red, like drawn on, or like even just like blush or something on the end of my nose. Like red rosy cheek. And um, I bought the, like the blue bowler hat, like you know, like with the daisy that sticks out of the top from Walmart. There. I think I'm talking to myself. You really will be like, what is that? Hey, baby. Uh, anyway, so I got the blue bowler hat from Walmart, which it was really cheap, and it's cheaply made, so I'm like DIYing it. So I took the pipe cleaner, like fake felt flower off, and I went to Michael's and bought a fake daisy that looks sort of real, and like gluing that in. I replaced the crappy red ribbon they put around it with like red, I think it's called Rick Rack, and I got like colored, um, studs or something. I don't know. I might not use those, but I'm just DIYing it up to make it look a little more professional. Cutesy. I'll wear that, and then I'll probably wear white gloves, and my red heels, and my red belt, and yeah. So, I'll take plenty of pictures. Um, I have to burp. Okay, silent burp. I did a lot of those around Max, and I'm gonna like, let it go. And then after we spent like a like couple days together, together, I was like burping and farting in front of him. I didn't care anymore. Because <laughs> he's cool like that. He's not like, oh my god, did you just burp in front of me? That is so gross. Why is that my impression of Max? I don't know. He sounds nothing like that. I don't know how to do a Canadian accent except for saying sorry and mum. He says mum. Not, not mum, but mum. And pop. Or so. They made fun of me for how I said soda. Soda? I don't say soda. Anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean for Halloween. It's a really cold message of Halloween. And then I painted my nails. I got the, um, gosh darn it. Yeah. I got the gel nail kit. Gel nail kit. From Kmart. Because I wanted to try that out. I knew that said they last a lot longer than regular nail polish. And since I do a lot with my hands, like crafting and masturbating, and I didn't say that. I was totally just kidding. Um, I wanted to try it out to see if it lasts longer. Because I always chip my nail polish within like two days, and it's really irritating. And um, I did the pink that came with the kit, and it lasted all week. So that was awesome. So today, I went to Walmart and bought the Sally Hansen gel color, which worked better, um, in white and red, and did 
this, which it's not going to zoom because it's a bitch, but I did like red, and then I have my accent nail, but you cannot see because it's blurry, is white with um, red blood spots, batter, it's kind of Dexter, Dexter-esque. There we go. But yeah, they turn out really awesome. And they seem really shiny too. It's really nice. And I definitely recommend this stuff if you like painting your nails. It takes a little longer, but it lasts longer. Anyway, oh wow, I've talked for 10 minutes, almost 11 minutes. I talk a lot. Um, I'm getting my tattoo on Wednesday. Today is Monday. It is almost over. So I can almost say I'm getting my tattoo tomorrow, which I'm so excited. So I will definitely do a video about that when I get home and take a zillion photos, unless it sucks, and then I will cry and cry and cry, and you will see me on that show, Bad Ink or whatever. But I'm going to Harmony, who has done my other two tattoos, and they look wonderful, and I get comments on them all the time, so I know it's going to look awesome. So anyway, um, I'll leave it at that, because this is a long video, and if you stuck with me through this whole video, I will give you a lollipop. You need to, like, comment, and I'll... I'll give you a lollipop. That makes me sound creepy. I don't know.